hi guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel if you don't know who i am i am chelsea Ohenoa, and we have your favorite girl baba and pardon me i've lost my voice so chelsea is gonna be doing most of the talking today but i'm also here to support yes so this video is a nighttime vlog we're going all around waterloo to show you the places to eat when you come to waterloo we'll be doing story times in between uh, what do you want to talk about relationships in canada um food just like school life combining school how to manage your expenses it's just going to be everything that you'd love to hear about basically so let's go so we're going out now this elevator is way way better than the one in saskatchewan <laughs> i told you to move back <laughs> hey guys subscribe to my channel i'll let you know the name soon we'll have a nice Baptist unveiling channel. party this is king street yes king street is the busiest here in waterloo i think it goes all the way to uptown uptown is like where every city says downtown waterloo wants to be extra and they call this uptown but there's nothing special but they have really high rise buildings you know you don't see these kind of buildings in saskatchewan <laughs> this is the neighbor's market i don't really buy from there when i was here but baba knows much about it so she's a gonna... convenience store located on kane and i think hickory and it's like quite expensive so people usually don't buy there unless it's really urgent and they close at 10 p.m that's what i hate about it so You'd have to buy whatever you want to buy before 10 p.m. So this is the University Commons. We have your friend Laurier University also here. So this is their plaza kind of. They have so much food. We have Laziz. We have Thai Express. They have Mr. Something. Pizza, Wine, Rock, Fat Bastard. Subway, which is everyone's favorite, I guess. So we're going to talk about Barbara's channel she wants ds so if you yeah. have content she's a fashionista so i was suggesting she does fashion and well. stuff maybe hall shane hall fashion over hall you know all those kind of stuff. so what you want us to show because i think i'll be um having chelsea on my channel occasionally yes so would love to hear your ideas guys so this is the university commons i think most of the shops close at 11 12 so if you're looking for some late night food it's the best place to check first let's say you went to the club and then you probably wanted to get some food before you go home um it's always good to pass by this place to get food and it's also there's on also, king street yeah right? yeah it's on king street uh there is uh this nice jamaican restaurant there it's called uh potluck they have uh jack and rice and peas so if you're looking for like something heavy for the night it's also really good to check that out there's meltwich subway um and chat time chat time is over there i love the aboba tea there is also a dental clinic here this is all on king street as well guys so this is guy b i don't know if it's the right way to pronounce it it's a Japanese grill. I, I I plan visiting the place, but I think it's a self-serve kind of dinner style. And then there is Gino's Pizza and a few other stores in this building as well. There is Pasha Lounge up there. So if you love to hang out, you could also like drop by. I think they usually work every day of the week, if I'm not lying. But yeah, and there's 7-Eleven, which is run 24-7. So you constantly know that there is at least one place to get something maybe an ice cream in the night or bread or maybe a juice or even soap like you you'd be lucky to find that at any 7-eleven store in around Canada. north america i think not just in ontario yeah the starbucks fresh burrito booster juice they have really nice um juices and smoothies so if you love smoothies, it's nice to check this place out. There's Texas, uh, is it Texas? Like Church's Chicken or something. But yeah, I didn't like it the last time I tried. So um, I don't know, I can't recommend. And there's this nice ice cream joint, Menchie's. So yeah, 
when you come to the food court, there's a variety of food that you can get. And I, like I said, most of these places close 11 or 12 in the night and some are 24 seven. So you definitely find something when you come out to get food in the night. You also have these bikes that you can use if you don't want to pick the bus. It's mostly here during summer and these scooters. This is Laurier. So Wilfred Laurier University. That is also a very, very big university. It's in the same category like um, U Waterloo, I think. It's very big. You can also you have good, good courses if you wanna come here. There is Fire Market. Oh, that's also 24-7. Yep. Uh, 24-7. We have City Pizza. We have a pharmacy. We have RBC. This was the bank I used to come to when I was here. And this bus stop was not here when I was here. But it's here now. And it's bus 7. Bus 7 is the one that uses the King Street. So it goes all the way to Kitchener. Kitchener is also another city. And this is Laurier. So we have all all smalls too. I've never bought from them, but I think the food is okay. I tried um some months back when I was returning from Toronto. We have mucho burrito. And there are a couple of like shops down there. There is this um um what's the name? It's more like a smoothie joint and a pizza place over there as well. So this is a very new building. I think it was um built or completed last year and then there is this nice burger joint that people have been talking about i haven't tried it yet though but i heard they have like really good chicken and beef burger but i think they also close at 11. so it's i would say for most of the eatery places around the university it's easy to find food around 11 p.m they have this indian grocery shop we are still on king street by the way that is as i said the busiest street in waterloo they have really really high rise buildings but rent here is crazy if you look for a place to stay before you know that what yep. i'm saying is true so guys i'm going to ask baba some questions she's been here since 2019 she's lived in waterloo for five years i think yeah so i'm going to ask her how life here has been for her so how has life in waterloo been for you i could not survive so how have you been able to survive for five years it's been fine a lot of ups and downs like cost of rent has been like really expensive over the past three years i'd say food is so expensive i remember when i came in 2019 i could buy groceries with 50 dollars and it was a lot I mean, that was 2019 but now if you want to get groceries like excluding your toiletries like you know as a girl your pad and whatever is even excluded you're looking at spending like 150 dollars so things are so expensive right now and i think it's across canada but i'm feeling it here and like one of the causes or i think one major contributing factor is the issue of COVID. oh my god that was so loud so the issue of covid is also like a contributing factor to why things are so expensive in terms of the number of africans here i'd say um there's been a lot of africans here lately especially like last year chelsea you'd be surprised i think about 20 to 30 people migrated here uh last year like i mean Ghanaians and all of that and i think there's a lot of um nigerians as well a lot of african country and it makes it really nice because then yeah yeah, country yeah it's it, yeah it, and it's easy to find somebody you know to even like just get help or you know like just meet someone and then the person just smiles at you it makes you feel like you're home like you can't be home but it gives that sense of being home or the sense of you know having your family by you even if you don't know the person directly so what has been okay what else do you want to know school school how was school for you oh my god i think i did my master's here but i think 
it was tough from the beginning. One thing I can say about Waterloo, like University of Waterloo, is if you're always reading before class, it helps a lot. Like, you can't just go and then just expect that a teacher is going to start a new topic and then you have no idea about it. Even if he's going to treat a new topic, you need to like read or have some knowledge about it. It's good to like read more articles. Usually, oh yeah, this is Tim Hortons. I think it's also a 24-7 store on King Street. So if you're looking for food in the night, sure you get some Korea, hot chocolate. It's uptown right now. Yeah, this is uptown Waterloo. Chairs around. So that's the sign. Uptown Waterloo. So we have Mr. Sap. We have this. Looks like a night. Oh, it's a lounge. FL's lounge. And we have this Kentucky. I can't see. Barbecue something. Oh, they have like so this really is nice this. wings. I tried their wings. I know the girl standing there. Mm. So we enjoy ourselves. So guys, I in my last two videos I talked about how when you come here, like married men, boys will be chasing you. If you're not smart, they're just gonna use you. <laughs> Baba has been experienced. I know she's a fine girl, so oh, the please. boys have been worrying that no talk. married man has been bothering me, I beg. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not married men, but you know, the guys, Nigeria, all kinds of People all over the world. Oh my God. So, what has been your experience with men when you came to Canada? I'd say it, it's just like any normal society, and then what you expect some people to do. So, one thing I noticed is there's a lot of toxicity in this North America. Trust me, especially if. Like you're kind of new and then you don't know your way around. It feels like very weird. I'm saying this because, for example, someone will just text you and then you text back and a person takes three days to text back. Like, <laughs> did you vanish or something? And it, it's so common to see even guys behave this way. It's like the person is trying to pursue you, but at the same time expecting you to pursue them. chase them. I think or sometimes they them. feel... Once you come here, you know here is you are not in your comfort zone. Back home in Ghana, you get people yeah. calling you, talking to you. But here, mostly to date someone has to be on an app. Yeah. So they yeah. feel you don't have anyone. I don't know what they think, but I think mostly that's what people think that you don't have anyone. So yeah, like I said, there is a lot of toxicity in this town. And then I also feel like people marry their high school sweethearts. So you see a lot of relationships, especially amongst the whites and like those who are like basically raised here um they are usually in relationships with their mates and then they get married and it's so nice but as an immigrant when you come here the dating pool is just too limited especially if you're not open-minded like if you you're not open-minded and then you're not willing to like date people from different races and all of that i'm saying this because like i have friends who had like similar experiences and they now had to like broaden their search or like be a little bit more open-minded to find people so adding something new here is really stressful i don't have like direct experiences but i talk to people i have friends who have experienced certain things had breaks and then it's always good to communicate and ask people what you're looking for i think one good thing i like about some most people here is they spell out what you're looking for and then if it aligns with what you're also looking for you can go ahead with them if not that's it and i kind of like that compared to you know like my ghanaian brothers back home <laughs> or let's say like the kind of thing i saw were growing up because someone can just come and deceive you without telling you what they want but i feel like here people are a bit more honest with their intentions or like just by the way they talk to you you know what you're looking for and you're able to either say no or yes and then just go your way <laughs> so guys i've been talking for like two minutes and i wasn't recording so this is a cycling shop the cycle to the cycle shop we have waterloo medical something we have crystal palace which is a restaurant we have home hardware which is home stuff we have this kana cabana which is a weed shop if you smoke 
there's TD bang behind us. I was talking and not knowing I wasn't recording, but it's good. The lights here is good, so I'm gonna put my auntie in the cut. <laughs> so all this, all of that place behind us, everything is uptown Waterloo. And Chelsea, one very spectacular thing about Waterloo, and I think for most Canadian cities, is during summer you see these structures outside. The reason is because it, it snows for the most part of the year. And so usually for summer, people want to like sit outside and eat and experience the weather. So you usually see like these outdoor settings at most restaurants. And it's really nice, especially when the sun is out and you have your clothes, your shorts or whatever. And you're just sipping on some nice juice or cocktail or whatever and enjoying the sun. When the sun, the light, the I used to pick this train every day because I used to work at Cora. Cora is there, but it's closed. Funny enough, like I heard it got closed down like two weeks after I left, but now it's been taken over by different people. And this is the shop. This is the real uptown square. This is where all programs, most programs happen. They did something here, but I think it's over now. <laughs> It was a karaoke session. So that's the signage. Waterloo Public Square. And we have this. I've been here before. They have really good food. Yeah, and this is the um, shop. It has God, so I many love shops. Yeah, burger inside. and chicken. It's so good. There's this Nigerian ice cream behind there. It's called For All Ice Cream. I'll show you guys when we get there. We have RBC here. Um, let's go inside so that I can show you what is inside. This is Piper Arms Park. Uh, so if, the, if people you usually come here if there is a match. But aside that, I think it was at 12. The and then there's a lot of food like there. Like I tried their cocktails and it's also uh, really good. The there's the Larama up there. Uh, the there's menu. for all ice cream next. Oh, that's my favorite ice cream. It's owned by a Nigerian. Oh wow, I didn't know that. We even have um, Zobo ice cream. Yeah, they, I think they change the varieties every time because I haven't seen the Zobo this year. So this is the outdoor patio which comes out mostly in summer. So this is, this pot is for, for all buyers. If you buy for all ice cream, you can sit outside with your friends and eat. This is the ice cream place. It's also in uptown. I don't really know the name of this street, but I know this place is still uptown, public square, and they are all inside the shop. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think we can enter because it's closed. But I've gone inside and show you where Cora used to be. Yeah, in Canada, malls closed. close at nine. Yeah, for my uh, or in like Waterloo, malls close at nine. Yeah, it's closed. So you usually wouldn't be able to buy anything from the mall after 9 p.m yeah so they have a vegan fast food joint which is called odd beggar everything here is 100 percent vegan so we have everything for everyone doesn't matter whether you're vegan pescatarian you can get something in waterloo okay so this means the train is coming when the train is crossing the road the red light will be on and you hear some sound i don't know whether my microphone is catching that but that means the train is gonna pass very soon so this means every car has to stop because this train is on the way that is the train it's actually a tram not a train because when you have goes, it crosses longer. the road and the trains are longer and bigger than that Hey guys, so this used to be Cora. Up there was where the Cora tag was, and now it's been closed down and it's been taken over by someone called Coco Fruity or something. But I'm so sad. I used to love this place, and the manager was so good to me, was so nice. There's a new shop that is taking over. I can't go into details as to why it's closed down. It's none of my business. So I don't have to talk about it. But yeah, that is it. We are going to where are we going next, ma'am? Should we go home or should we go should we go home? <laughs> it's kind of cold, but I don't mind hanging around. 
auntie is sure. tired so we're going home i want to show you guys maybe tomorrow i think i can extend this vlog to tomorrow yeah because tomorrow i want to show you guys i showed you the campus plaza i was showing was more like for wilfred laurier waterloo's own is probably behind us way 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 behind so i'm going to show you guys that tomorrow so we'll continue this vlog tomorrow but now we're gonna grab something we don't know what yet maybe a good hot night tea or a hot, no something i'm going hot. to make coffee for her because i'm a barista uh -huh. bye see you tomorrow see you So we are going to continue our vlog. This is the University of Waterloo food courts. There's so much food. There's a bank. There's an ATM actually. There's Farah Foods. There's so much. Harvey's Pharmacy. Waterloo Walking Clinic. So if you are sick, you can just come here. We have Sweet Dreams. We have this place. So, I potato. I'm currently getting lazies. There's wild fresh combat. We have so many foods around here. All these are student houses.